Hello everyone, this is a psychic reading into Russia and Ukraine and the future as well as the present and just what's going on there just to help clarify some things. So what I was getting when I tuned into just the, situa the situation at large, uh, I was getting that Putin is aggressive and that he wants to conquer more land. I don't see any compromise here moving forward. This just seems to be a consistent situation. Um, when I tune into Zelensky, he's emitting a good amount of this confusion type of energy, as if he doesn't really know what to do on his own. He's getting a lot of support from others, and it's as if he's being told what to do by others. It's as if he's in control, but he's also not in control. I also get that he has some spiritual faith, which is helpful to him, but also that it can get mixed into his political faith, if you want to call it that, political faith. Um, of the Western powers and that he is kind of waiting for answers from them. He appears lost on some level as if not sure what to do without guidance. And this is because he's been put in place as a international instrument and therefore he has dependency on them for guidance. And so this has kind of been the intention behind that. Putin looks to be raging and um, like the sense of like, conquer and um, this raging energy. Um, I'm seeing this going or that energy from him I'm seeing moving through the south of Ukraine and it's as if he feels that this is the last chance he has to make a move before he becomes irrelevant due to the unification of the countries around him and this is what's fueling his rage is the unification of the countries around him which he feels are a threat to him and everything that he represents. Countries to the north of Ukraine have been pushing Ukraine to do battle with Russia. So there is some aspect of truth to this, that there is a you know, unification of these countries and they're um, kind of working together and I do get the sense that they are nudging Ukraine to battle Russia more um, politically, on a political level. Ukraine seems to be influenced by a bigger international agenda to battle Russia. I do see this as a reaction to Russia's aggression, but at the very same time this is also what kind of fuels Russia's aggression even more. That being the um, unification of the other countries and their nudging to oppose Russia. Russia appears focused on conquering in the future and in the present, conquering areas south of Ukraine as well as in southern Ukraine um, and the way that I see this working out is by conquering the south part of Ukraine and then kind of bleeding out and I don't know if this is literally invading other countries or just having some sort of economic effect or some political power or sway over them but I was seeing it as going to the, to the south of Ukraine a little bit west of um, Ukraine underneath it, not very far, but just a little bit, and then slowly working their way up 
Ukraine. Um, so I do get the sense that Russia may start trying to invade other areas to the south of Ukraine within three to five months or so. At least, at least that seems to be their intention. Um, ultimately, I do see Russia taking a lot of land from Ukraine, and um, within five years or so, I, I get the sense that a large portion, if not most, of Ukraine will be under Russian control. Um, and this kind of really correlates with other things that I saw in my other videos before I, before the, before the war invasion even started or before it was even a, a thing on, on anyone's radar. Um, what I was seeing was the destabilization of the economy, um, of the countries around that area actually to the southwest of Ukraine I made a video about a particular place I can't remember exactly what location it was but there's a certain area that someone wanted me to do a prediction on and so I did and one of the things that I was seeing was terrorism and um, people taking advantage of a bad economic system in place and so now this is all starting to make sense and so what I'm getting is that the destabilization of the economy and the government of Ukraine and the surrounding area seems to be opening a door for terrorism um, and so I'm going to look through my videos and figure out which video in particular it was that I did a reading on where I said that and I will post that video below this um, video so you can click on that link to see about that. I may um, add a little text below this that you can read about it once I look that up later. So anyways, <clears throat> moving on. Um, so something very interesting, I was getting that Putin may lose some political power in early October coming up here. Um, and I'm seeing this more as him just going on a hiatus, just taking a break. Um, you know, I've heard, you know, people have commented about, like, when will Putin be taken out, etc. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm not really seeing that. I'm not saying that it's not going to happen just because I'm not seeing it, but I'm not, it's not really showing up for me. Um, however, after this break um, from leadership that I'm seeing in October, I do see him coming back into leadership, so I don't, um, I don't necessarily see him being, you know, kicked out of the government, um, but there does seem to be something going on around there. And this appears to be related to the popularity of a situation going against him within his own government. And I was also getting that this seems to correlate with the markets, like the stock market and Bitcoin, things of that nature, that may have a little spike of an increase um, in early October that may be pretty nice for people who are invested who want to sell at that point before it falls back down because I don't see it continuing to go up and up and up. I see it going up really fast and then kind of coming back down again by the end of the month. Um, I don't see Putin being taken out. Um, but I was getting the sense that he may pass away around the age of 87, and I don't normally get ages or like predict people's death. That's not me, that's not really what I do. But for some reason, 
that was coming up this time was that he may pass around the age of 87. And I don't see Russia being very aggressive after his passing. In other words, it seems to kind of cool off and tone down after his um, power. Um, so there seems to be more unification and cooperation between Russia and the Western states' interests, and or you could say United States as well as Europe, that would be, and just kind of the globalism of the world. Um, however, I want to say that by that I don't mean things like the economic World Economic Forum, um, because I do see there being a pattern of unification and cooperation around the world that is happening naturally. However, um, there there's an attempt to kind of hijack this movement by the World Economic Forum and place it under more of a, I guess you could call it elitist power structure. Um, but I see this movement, movement being more natural and bigger than that. So a lot of people like to boil it down to that, but I see this as a natural step in evolution bigger than, than just the um, powers that be manipulating people. Um, I do get the sense that Russia is actually somewhat of a threat to the World Economic Forum, at least some of the agenda coming out of that, and I'm seeing that putting that back a little bit and um, kind of preventing that from manifesting as much into the world. However, I also see that just the general awakening of humanity, of the planet, of the higher frequencies coming into Earth because of people awakening, which is what is allowing the process to happen. So it's not happening externally. It, it's more, it's happening because people are awakening opening themselves to those frequencies that is allowing those frequencies to manifest on Earth. So it's not something that's happening to us, it's more something that's happening because of us as a collective. Although there's a little bit of both, I will say. Because it, you know, goes both ways. Um, so that is actually more so associated with what is preventing the World Economic Forum from taking over, and not just the World Economic Forum, but also other general powers that want to, you know, um, control the world to their liking not to necessarily demonize the World Economic Forum, but I do see them as having a, a control system that prevents the growth of the spirit for the world, for humanity. So I do see the, the, um, the World Economic Forum, and, and um, I guess you could call it capitalistic interests as well and globalist interests that want to dominate the world however you want to define it different camps will point at different things and I think we can all kind of agree that there's a elitist power structure whatever you may want to call it so I do see that getting their footing a little bit like that's kind of what's going on here that's where we're moving towards i do see them getting their footing within the world 
Um, but it's only just like they just get their footing in place and then that's it. Like they just barely get balanced and then they kind of lose their balance, but their foot is still in the door, so to speak. That's the way it's coming to me at least. And so overall they will be drowned out by the real, authentic, and more natural unification of the world. However, there will still be some technological, hierarchical control systems in place, um, and I do see that being true for the next 10 to 15 years or so before the kind of hierarchical control top-down rulership kind of fades away more and we kind of enter into a new system of governance where um, things are just more unified. That isn't to say we won't have leaders, but I just get the sense that things will be more unified and cooperative. So that's what I have to say for the future of Ukraine and um, Russia and I guess the world because it kind of went off a little bit there. But um, if you like this video, I always appreciate a thumbs up. Leave a comment below um, if you'd like to support me and see my Patreon videos that are a little more you know, controversial as well as I put a lot of Bitcoin price predictions and things like that, which I've been nailing lately. If you want to see those, you can, for only $5 a month, join my Patreon, which I will leave the link below this video as well. And don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment if you have anything that you would like to say of interest. Thank you for watching and have a great day.